Yo, what's up, family? It's been a minute. Man, I've been doing some serious soul work, some some retrieving of my lost aspects. I had to go get back. But I missed y'all. I really, I really, truly missed talking to y'all. Now I'm getting back to... Um, getting back to being able to do this work, you know, to getting back to talking about this mission and, and um, you know, just putting out the information we all need to ascend because that's what it's all about, right? We are ascending. We are ascending through this, this matrix. And, you know, ascending through this matrix means so much. <laughs> When I say that term, I mean, it means a lot. It's not just as simple as, you know, love and light. You know, it ain't as simple as just literally um, walking into the new 5D energy. You know, it's not that simple. And the reason why it is not that simple is because you do not just consist of what you see physically. You know, you you are made up of so many different parts of this uniting verse. Because there was so much spoken to you, about you, for you. You know, we go through so many different soul cycles. And these soul cycles are maturing us and bringing us to these higher and higher frequencies you know the cells that contain the aspects of our soul the very pieces of our souls right the cells that you are housed in right now at this time called the body which is the temple the temple of the holy spirit which is you so Kind of went off a little bit, but let me get back to what I was saying. So we are ascending. This this is all about ascension. This is all about being the best version of ourselves or ourselves, right? This is all about us learning to imitate the higher reflections and vibrations that we know as home, that we know we are um, moving toward or ascending to. Right. We're ascending back to source and we're doing it as we're bringing these bodies along with us because, you know, we don't leave things like we found it. We make them better. We come in and we elevate the frequency. That's why you do that. Now, when you enter a room, it's like a Russian wind. It's like people just kind of look at you and go, whoa, who is that? That's because you are ascending toward the higher frequencies and that's what the higher frequencies do to you. And you are a mirror of it. You're a reflection of it. So if you are a reflection of that most high frequency, then you're going to emanate it out here. In other words, people are going to see the best version of you. That's why it's important to be the best version of yourself. Rock it out. Become that better you. When you do it, you become the highest version of self, the higher self. You become that higher self. In other words, you become that spirit. That's why you are the Holy Spirit. You are the spirit that is in the body along with the soul, tied in through the soul. That's why it's called a DNA chain. Your DNA chain holds you to the body. It locks you into this temple. See, you, if you, you all need to understand, you need to understand, and you need to let this stand over you, right? As a, as a jewel in your crown, never, ever, ever forget something. You are in a soul matrix. Everything in this matrix, this cube, Everything in it, it is made, it is built for, and energetically 
runs off of soul energy, your soul. The spark of source encapsulated in an energetic field called the soul or a seed. See why they do that? It's a seed. It's a blood drop. Right? Look at it. See, the reason they do that, see the house? You are the temple. You are the temple. See, that would be like a tabernacle. See the way it's kind of built? But they made you think that you know, the churches and the way that they was built with those steeples. That was just by accident. Like this drop is what the soul looks like right here. And then that is a spark of source. And tied to that is the consciousness. The consciousness, the very being. Your I am factor. All of that is tied into the soul and it encapsulates it. And it circulates energetically around just like that. And on the inside of that is the essence of you. See that that piece, that spark, the all spark, it is tied in to source because source can never stop being itself. It is everything, all. And that piece of the all is within you. And you have been evolving that piece over many, many cycles, many moons, <laughs> through a lot of tears and a lot of fears. You've evolved it. But here's, here's the other deal, though. You've lost a lot of it, too, through many timelines, through many cycles. See... If you forget this is a soul game, you lose your soul. That's the price. And if you lose your soul, you're losing the protective coating, that seed. You, you, you're losing that energy. It's been siphoned from you. For my biblical people, that's really what the true all is. The ten virgins. Some had enough oil to make it to the end. Some didn't. See, everything in this matrix has a purpose. And, and, and the purpose is to drain you of your soul energy. So to those just awakening to all of these truths, never forget this one truth. This whole matrix is built it's made and it receives its energy from you, from your soul. From your soul. From the higher aspect of you that connects you to source. This whole, the whole matrix, that's what it's all about. When you get outside this matrix, you'll see a cube within a cube, hypercubes, which makes hyperdimensionality real which means that you could be alive in multiple dimensions at the same time living your past lives as you're living this life like a record or a record a recording you playing over and over and over and over again in the same cycle you losing your soul energy every time because it's just like a mosquito bah, just sucking it out 
lifetime after lifetime, but the lifetimes never end. Not when you're on record as saying, speaking. Remember when I started off, I said many things are, are spoken over you, for you, by you. You're making a recording of yourself on the record of time. See, time is an illusion, but it's nonetheless still time. See, the God of this world is time. Because how many times have you done this? It's ruling over you. Whipping that ass every time you mess up. People call it karma, right? <laughs> See, the God of this world is time. Father, time. And you'll. this is why you will hear quotes, time is undefeated. You know, for athletes anyway. You know, we hear that a lot. <laughs> it's like you fight the war, you know, when you get over a certain age, uh, you play professional sports. Y'all know what uh, the um, pro athletes know what I mean. You, you play if you play professional sports or even if you play high level college sports, you only have so long to get something accomplished. And so one of the quotes that, you know, old school coaches like they used to tell me all the time said, um, you know, when you get past 32, it's like, <laughs> man. You're fighting a war with, with, with time and time is undefeated. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you you over 32, you you are fighting a war with father time and father time is undefeated. So if you are in this soul game, this game of souls, not game of thrones, game of souls, not Lord of the Rings, which you are like a tree and they want to control all of your rings or all of your energy. And because, you know, energy, when it emanates out, when light emanates out, it makes rings, right? Okay. So they want to be the Lord of your rings, right? But if you are in a game of souls and the whole game is about your soul, like football, <laughs> what does it look like? All right. See, they squeeze those shapes in there. That soul energy, right? So, any game you take, it involves a ball. And preferably, it has air in it or spirit in it. And the players represent the armies of one side and the other. This is called duality. So when you watch football, two teams trying to battle it out, right? For this one little ball compared to them. And they got to finish with it in a certain spot, in a certain area. They have to have finished. And they only get so many times to do it. And then it's turned over. These are called cycles, cycles of time, right? And you build up this residue of energy, something like what people experience as karma, even though karma is something different, but that's what it is. But they have this built up residue of energy, right? And it, can, it don't go away. It just keeps going forward throughout each quarter. And the tighter the game or the closer the game, the harder hitting the game, people love it more and more and more, at least here in America. Well, same thing for, for soccer, right? Is he still trying to score the goal? Now, once you've gotten into the designated spot, let's say we're talking about football, the, the end zone, you get points in the positive for you. And then every, after each one, you get an extra chance to 
get another point for you in the positive, kicking a field goal, right? But it still involves getting that ball filled with spirit, filled with air, that covering, we call it a ball, right, of air. No matter what shape it's in, you get another chance to kick it through a certain designated area. And the ball leaves the field to play, or the soul can leave the field to play. Now, you went through so many cycles as a player from a player's point of view, you went through so many cycles and you played the game. And then you graduate from it. You don't need it anymore. It more needs you to keep going, right? It needs your energy. If you look at it in reverse, because now you got to get up every day, you know, you, you don't want to get up every day. You don't want to go run or lift the weights and or shoot, you know, 500 shots a day. Yeah, your boy shot 500 a day, right? But you get to the point where it's exhausting, and now you want to walk away from the very thing you dedicated all your time to. It's weird how I switched this. But you've gotten tired, or as we call it, maturing. Because <laughs> you should always be a kid at heart. But you get tired of doing the same thing over and over, the same cycle over and over and over. So you retire. And when you're retiring, you're going back to sleep. You're going back to rest. You're retiring for the evening, right? Right? And you experience a death, so to speak. See, no matter what game I'm describing, even if it's the financial game, even if it's the dope game, it don't matter. It's all about your soul. It's all about your soul. It's like being, or I should say it's like knowing your I am, knowing your I am. It's like knowing the thing, the very thing that you are, that you claim to be. Like knowing that it's like the needle on a record, old school record player when you're recording on it. Because everything you say you are, you have to be through consciousness. And for that to activate, it takes your soul energy. And you, unbeknownst to you, have directed your soul's energy to that designation because you spoke it. You said, I am. Like, for example, I am that I am in its simplest term. What is God's name? What is God's name? What is the goddess's name? It doesn't matter. Just want you to understand something. I am that I am. To say, I am that I am. It means I am that thing that I just said I am. Because if you look at it like looking in a mirror, because everything is reflecting back to you exactly the thing you project out. Like you, you don't have to go find a bad guy. You are the bad guy. You project the bad guy out and then it comes back to you. Like you are seeing, reviewing, recording your own self do these things 
That's what addiction is. You like to watch yourself in the same cycle and do the same things. So you're addicted to that, right? Or you're dictating, a dictating. What is the dictate? You are literally sitting there reading, writing the story, reading and rewriting the story. You just don't realize it yet because you have to see what your real eye. You have to see what your real eye so you can realize. So when you truly understand your I am, it is when that it is the point that you can rock with. I am that thing I say I am. When you can understand that, stand with that in solidarity inside. You're not broken left or right. You're not in duality with it. You're not Superman. You haven't exposed the very thing that houses the heart, right? You literally are able to walk in your divinity here on earth, here even in, even in this time with everything going on. Because if I am tired, I have to be tired. If um, I'm a lawyer, then that's what I'm using my soul energy on. Like I am saying out of my mouth what I am. So therefore, if you really look at everything as If you look at everything as a movie, everything that is going on in your life, all of the going ons of the day, right? This person came into your office or this person talking as you, you know, if you look at all of that as a movie and you are the star of the show, the Truman Show, right? You are the star of the show. So, if you look at everything as that, look at the role you're playing. You look at the role you're playing by literally remembering all of the good, the bad, the ugly that you've done. That's your whole role. That's everything you, you, you've lived as, you've imaged as, you've reflected as. See, to me, there's only um, images, images, and reflections of consciousness. So you are either imaging it out or you are reflecting it out. You're one or the other. This is where the, 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 the cause of duality happens. This is where of the soul. This is where the cause of duality happens. Because you're either imaging or reflecting instead of just being. You're being. And if you're in your being, you're solid in it. Because you are being the very thing that you said, I am. So I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that thing that I said I am am not I was because see now you're going back into the the the, the um, lived files the files that you've lived under the names you've lived under the energies you've given up over here see that's man this is go so deep like I'm just gonna go ahead and go into it like that's what the devil is devil is lived spelled backwards so all of the lies you have lived, all of the energy you have lost, all of the energy, the soul energy that you have given up to be able to be the things you said you were in past lives, to experience the things you said you wanted to experience. You had to pay a price for that. That is the devil energy, the lived energy, the energy, your past life energy that is still going on right now, currently playing in the background. That's why you're still dreaming about it and going into them. And they're all going at the same time. Your soul is just strung out on the cross. <laughs> and it's happening. The cross is a cube, is a box. 
and you're in the box. You're in one of those cubes, but the whole master cube is closed. This is hyperdimensionality. Um, like I said, I can't get into that. That's just really deep, but you're locked into these cells and as you are using this soul energy, like I'm using my soul energy right now, I'm speaking to you from my soul because my soul's lived this life many times and I've played this role many times. About every 25,000 years, I play this role. So I'm using soul energy because I willingly say, I'll come back in here and I'll teach this. I'll walk this out again. That's my soul contract. Because we all, every, all of these fractals of ourselves, we are all part of each other. We are us and us are we. Why do I say it like that? Most people might say that's broke English. That's the way they told you the slaves talk because they were dumb and didn't know how to speak English because they were speaking another language. Okay, get past all that. That's a ancient way of speaking to understand or understand that you are in a reflection. You are in the mirror. Your soul is fractals like glass, like the crystal children, like these things are made of what? Glass. They can shard off, right? It can get broken. So if you if you are that, if you can image yourself as that, right? That you will have this this soul energy inside of you. It's being used. It's been a it's been stripped from you, right? You get up every day. You get up every day. You're gifted with this awakening every day, right? If you understand that, you, <laughs> the kids having fun, they knock me off. But if you can understand that you are the image and you are the reflection, then you can bring your soul back into a complete being. And the devil energy is the energy you've already lived. That's the stuff dragging you back, trying to trying to stay alive. Your past tries to stay alive through the images, right? So it's like that's the devil energy. That's the the energy that the dark ones use. They don't have the they don't they're dead souls. They're dead souls. Don't know another way to put it. And they need your soul energy to stay alive. But they're the dead souls. They're the ones that are already been drained by the matrix, right? So that's why you got to be careful with ancestors and stuff like that and who you listen to. But that's neither there nor there. Um, but these are dead souls. They have no more life cycle left. And um, they're not ready to let it go. They still hold a form of consciousness. So... When you take into account your soul energy and what it actually really means to this matrix, if you take that into account, if you add it up and see what's been subtracted from you, then you are living in your sovereignty. If you're not doing that, you're not living in your sovereignty. Something that still controls it, controls you, can use you because it's draining energy from you. You got a soul contract with it. Like I said, this whole thing is about your soul. The whole thing on thing, everything is about your soul. Everything is for a reason. And if you truly want to ascend, you have to understand and understand that reason. It's because it always has to tell the truth. The, the, 
the system that you're in always has to tell the truth. Always. The reason why is because it has to constantly make copies of itself. And as it constantly makes copies of itself, things become very familiar to you. So they name them different things, but everything is all the same. It was the same too. I remember when I was a little boy, um, it was like some dudes who walked down the street, be like, what's up, man? It was like, everything's everything, man. <laughs> you know, like that when I was just like little, when I was really little, my bad. But it just really made me think of it, right? <clears throat> um, but I digressed a little bit, but anyway, that devil energy, that lived energy, the energy from the past, that energy is what is we would call the shadow. It's the shadow of self. And this is what you also have to claim to claim your your soul divinity. It's like you have to claim the, the light and the dark of you, the duality, right? You have to claim both characters you've played in the in, in the movie. You have to claim it. It's like, no, I played it. This is why this is why Hollywood gives you this or the Holy Wood gives you this, right? It, it's, it's explaining to you or it's reflecting to you. It's reflecting to you that you can play different characters in your life. So this is why you can get an actor that can play a villain in one movie, play a hero in the next, and then play a guy that had to do bad things but for a good reason in the next. They keep giving you that because that is, a, or I'm sorry, you keep receiving that because that is the universe directly reflecting to you that you can play different roles in life. Like you have lived, you have done things or performed devil energy. But I like to say lived energy. See, the devil ain't coming to get you. The things that you have lived is coming to get you because that promotes guilt. And then the guilt is what makes you want to go back into the soul cycle. So all of these things mean something. Everything has a reason. It has a purpose behind it. But I assure you, for ascension purposes, your your it, it's all about your soul. It's all about your soul. All about your soul. All about your soul. Just like in in uh in in um basketball. It's all about it's all about the soul. It's all about the souls. Or in other words, the shoes. Or is it the player? The star. See, it's a soul game. It's all about a soul game. Playing with your seed of divinity. The seed of divinity that lives within you. You know. Man. But if you can understand that. And every, about every 24 to 25,000 years, we change ages. We The, 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 the main system resets. You know, this is the doors of the church are open. Whomever will receive the son of God, let him come forth. Let him or her come forth and receive, right? I heard there's so much sitting in church. And now that I know it's all a soul game, I know what it was reflecting back to me. And what it simply was saying that we live in a time that the gates are open. The doors of the church or the circle, because church means Circe circle. The gates, the doors of the circle, the zodiac, the animal wheel that's above you, or you're on the potter's wheel as it is called in the Bible. You're on the potter's wheel. But 
The doors of the church are open. The doors of the circle are open. We're getting ready to change the age. And at that time, at that time, every time, we're able to ascend out on this soul evolutionary journey. And this is the time that we get to do it. And it started like 1920 to 1950 or sometime around there. I can't give you an exact date, but it started sometime around, you know, in this current, you know, timeline. And it started with the awakening. The, like the awakening started then is what I'm saying, of souls, of souls. And in this awakening, it's like we, we as a consciousness, as a, as a collective soul groups, we, you know, in our own distinct frequencies and ways started waking up to the reality of who we were. And time started speeding up, so to speak, because of the fields of energy picking up air vibration. The earth going through her changes, right? Like, all of this energy, I think it's, you know, we start, all of the energy just started changing. All these new businesses came in, these, you know, it's the turn of the century, and then, like, climate change, like, everything changed, right? Because we started, the energy surge, from source was trickling through this area of the galaxy of the body and as we were all hit with it we were activated at various times we were meant to be here to in karma to accept karma to the you know um to allow it to cleanse us of the lived energy of that old dead dying energy the things we've already given up to the matrix whether we murdered in a previous lifetime whether we were amazingly rich in a lifetime before that and you know all these different things that people go and try to find out what they live you know as in past life and not realizing that it's because you're in the great awakening in this grand period of time that you are awakening and now it is time to set the captives free. This is why it says the sun came to set the captives free. Not the S-O-N, the S-U-N. The sun came to set the captives free. The second sun. Boom. <laughs> but... The sun came to set the captives free. Why? Because the sun went through the solar flash. Solar. Pop, 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 pop. Right? And it went from just an orange glowing ball in the sky to like a hot white orb now. Like it's just, right? Just blasting all of this soul energy into you, infusing you with soul energy changing your DNA it is manipulating your planet it is changing everything right this is why it's called the soul the SOL here recently it's called the sun so so the solar flash is setting you free. It's waking you up. It's hard to stay asleep when you keep getting a light flashed in your eyes. So even if you recognize it or not, your soul was receiving this, this cosmic energy, the cosmic energy. And it caused a great awakening of you. 
your brothers and sisters, soul groups, everybody start waking up out of their slumber. A lot of us are ready, a lot of us are not ready, right? We're all here for different purposes. Some will awake and go back to sleep and see you in 25,000 years in this time matrix. See, when the sun starts activating and you have these, these um, CMEs, it's hitting your soul fractal, it's hitting your soul, and it is energizing that part of source that's in you. When that, when that is energized, it holds more energy. This is why your DNA changes, as I previously explained before. So, this great awakening is happening because the sun went through an evolution, through a raising frequency. And so, or I should say the soul, the sun, <laughs> went through this, this whole great awakening period where it went from um, it went from like I said glowing orange all the time just beautiful so I remember watching as a little kid I just because I was out in the fields all day and looking up at the sun and how different it looks now looking up at the sun and um, so the cycle has changed So this is the 25th soul cycle. And that's how many times your soul has been ran through. They're like count the soul cycles. They tell you, they have to tell you the truth. You just don't know what this stuff means. But when you know it's all a soul game and it's all for your soul's energy to siphon off of it, then you know how to live in this matrix. You know how to survive in this matrix. You know how to ascend out of this matrix. That's why you must ascend out of it. You know, systems, systems are there to, to, to drain you. You know, you look at the judicial system. You look at the legal system, you know, you look at the farming system. Like if it has system on it, I'm telling you, it's part of the matrix and it's there to, is used as a drainer of souls. So it's time to get out of the system. Just like you don't want to be in a solar system. <laughs> And, you know, some of us are evolving into that, you know, like through the through the through the energetic understanding that a soul. A soul is a greater soul. Because that soul is giving light to the world. Or the sun gives light to the world, right? So the son of God gives light to the world. The son of God sets the captives free. The son of God comes in on a white horse. Son is white now, isn't it? Yeah. The son of God comes in on a white horse. Freeing the captives from hell. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the kingdom of heaven for those who now have done the work and get their crown chakras. Getting your crown. I would say something, but I already got it. Like, mm. But getting your crown chakra, that was so important. 
that was so important that we took care of our bodies and we walked knowing that our bodies could fight and do everything it was supposed to do on its own. Knowing and taking sovereignty over the temple in which you reside and not allowing another man to do that. Amazing. But getting your crown chakra activated with cosmic energy, with cosmic light, coming from the source fractal within you. That is a high reward. And now we go through another soul cycle. Now we go, oh, I'm sorry. Now we go through. Now we're in the the a grand cycle, a grand soul cycle, where now escape can happen. The soul, the, the matrix can be left now. So your soul energy energy is not in um, caught on the the loop anymore, because now you know exactly who you are who you're not and honestly what you is was and will be that's even better you know what you is you know what you was and you know what you will be I'll say it again you know what you is right you know what you was and you know what you will be. Those are the ones who have overcome by the word of their testimony. Yep, and the blood, right? Your blood, the blood of the lamb. The lamb. Go look at the structure of the brain and understand the, the Christos all that runs in you. The Christ that runs from your root, your pine, um, from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra, all the way up your spine, coming into the pineal, like uh, like the whole structure, everything just has a purpose, and you just gotta understand what the purpose is, and once you understand what the purpose is, then you know the ledge up on which you walk, or you have knowledge, true knowledge. Because man-made knowledge, you can sit there and it's rhetoric. You can say it all day. But when you have this gnosis of who you are, which you at the very core of you are a soul having a human experience. So... You having a gnosis of self or the knowing of self, now you have true knowledge because you know the ledge upon which you walk, whether it be treacherous or whether it be safe. And you have the choice because now you have become sovereign over your temple. You have become sovereign over your soul. So... Like waking up, I finished this thought and I didn't finish this thought. Like you wake up every day, you wake up every day. Every day you wake up, your eyes open, that soul energy that just energized that body. And now your soul is using, uh, or I'm sorry, your soul is being used energetically now. So everything you do, you get up, you um you fall on your knees, so energy is being used. You go use the bathroom, um, flush out the toxins from the night before, so energy. All this is so energy. Um, brushing your teeth. Just everything you do with your time, it is associated with emit. Time 
Emit, M-I-T, right? Um, I think I spelled that right, but you get what I'm saying. Um, but emit, time is associated with the emitting of yourself, like to shine out, right? Light. So if you live in a holographic universe or a holographic, not universe, you live in a holographic matrix that is reflecting back to you what you are projecting, then think about all the things you do and how much you look at yourself doing them in the morning and how much you worry about what other people's view or the angle at which they see you when you worry about what they think, their view of you. Why? Because you're constantly being reminded or you should be constantly being reminded by this that, that your energy is being used because you are projecting yourself. You're emitting out like a light, a spark of source. So, you light being, <laughs> you're being light. You're being light. So if you're being light, that means that you're being spectrumed out and you're being spectrumed out across multiple timelines. So anywho, really got off on a tangent on that one, but, um, Sometimes I just got to let it grow, you know, go where it goes um, because, you know, your awareness of self is what is being opened up as you're hearing me talk. This is an activation of that part of your mental field of the pineal, you know, because you're 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 emanating out yourself. You're a light that sits on the hill and cannot be hid. Nobody does that. Hide a light under a bushel, right? So you are light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You ever heard that song before? You have a light. You are projecting yourself out as light. Your soul energy. So anyway, um, everything you do in the daytime, from driving, all of that, right? You have to use your soul energy to do it. This is why it hurts you so bad when you um, don't accomplish something. It, it's like that's where all of these emotions come from. The emotions is the draining of your soul energy. Like even being happy, even being, you know, so excited and happy till you become exhausted. Like you're, it takes soul energy for that. So your your energy is being siphoned off of you through these daily activities. This is why you're supposed to be going after the thing that makes you so happy. That thing that if you just had um, all the time in the world, if you were just the richest person in the world and, and you had nothing to do all day, what would you do? That thing that you would do that would make your heart happy. It's like that's what you're supposed to be doing because that is living in the higher aspect of your soul. Like this makes me happy. Like I, I'm really happy doing this. I, I play music. I write music, sing. Um, I coach, you know, basketball. Um, really good at it. It's like amazing. But I'm doing the things that I want to do. And they don't always go the way I want them to go. But I know that I am the character in my play. And I know that everything I put into it, I'm expecting to get back. So um, going back to my example I had, you wake up in the morning, you have all of this energy, right? You have a certain amount of energy to use throughout the day of your soul's energy. Um, because, you know, you're, you're stuck in time. So you don't get to use all of your soul energy. So you only get so much. This is why you get tired. Your, the body gets tired. So you use that energy, 
You use that energy to do certain things that you claim to be. So I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. I am a politician. I am a carpenter. Um, I am a, a truck driver. I am a basketball coach. You know, you can go on and on. I am a mother. I am a father. You are giving out soul energy each time you do that. You are, it goes to his designated area. Whoever you had the contracts to. <laughs> Them soul contracts be real, man. They be real. So, video's going long, man. But anyway, so, ending these soul contracts, um, getting through the devil energy or the lived energy, the old energy that was taken from you, that's been stored up, that's been replaying in the background, the shadow, your shadows, right? Because that's what your shadow is too. That's what you are, that's doing the shadow work is dealing with the reflection of yourself. What you are, what you are sending out, what you are projecting or the part you're playing, I'm sorry, the part you're playing in the movie. That's what you're projecting out, the part you're playing in your own movie. So if you feel that this is where organized religion comes in at, um, re relying, I call it re because I, I say it the way it's spelled. So it's not religion, it's relying, realigning, realigning. Religion realigns you to a different thought pattern. So they tell you that what you do is bad, what you do is horrible, and you are this despicable person. And you know, you need to fall on your knees and beg for forgiveness. So when you fall on your knees and you beg for forgiveness, who are you begging forgiveness from? You. This matrix is like a hall of mirrors. So you're on your knees and you're begging for forgiveness from yourself. You need to hear it. You have to say, oh, God, forgive me. For I have sinned. Or I have done the thing that you said don't do. And you are hearing yourself say it. So those who are hearers of the word must be doers of the word. Or you are a hypocrite. So you're hearing the word. So you must be doing the word. You're speaking out your contract. You're speaking out what you want to spend your soul energy on. You're speaking that out. So you're paying the price. And you give the devil its due. Or you give the lived energy what's due to it. Because you have to give an account for everything you say. You have to pay for it. How are you paying for it? Soul energy. So, in this great awakening of souls, where, you know, this global consciousness is expanding, we're seeing the new timelines come in. Um, the old, you know, the old way of doing things is going away. <laughs> So as the solar flashes keep flashing, we'll keep advancing and we'll keep becoming the greatest versions of ourselves. So that we can keep reflecting. We can keep imaging. We can keep ascending to the higher vibrations and higher frequencies 
Because as we do that, we are seeing humanity too. We are seeing these temples. So that every time we come back into the temples, they're better and better and better. We're ascending these bodies also while we're ascending our souls. We're writing the DNA templates and restoring humanity back to where humanity originally was. We are becoming aware to this. We are becoming aware. Awakening and becoming aware of how important our soul fractals are, how important that part of source that lies within you is. We are. But we're shifting humanity into the into the positive polarity, you know. That's what we're doing. So as we take care of that source fractal within us, our soul energy, and we are evolving that soul, growing that soul, learning more. We won't be afraid. We'll know the purpose and design. Anyway, new soul cycle, y'all. New soul cycle. To all of you newly awakened who are trying to figure this thing out, it's a soul game. It's all about your soul's energy. Honestly. And the key to, to, to affecting time is this. You, you um, have to direct your soul's energy. True manifestation is directing your soul energy to where you want it to be. That's it. Like, if you're going to wake up in a day, you're using your soul energy. What do you want to manifest? You put your soul energy toward that. You direct it. So you spend it on what you want to spend it on. Don't spend your soul energy on 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 um, things you don't want to do. Because you have to pay the price for that. You have to be truly selfish. Not selfish in the lower... 3D idiotic way, you know, I got a bag of chips and no, you can't have none. Not like that. No, not that selfish. The selfish where you care about your soul. You care about yourself or your cells. And knowing within those cells is your soul energy. And so therefore you become selfish with that. So instead of giving it away and letting people abuse you, and and choose you or not all that bull crap you're now directing your soul energy to directly where you want it and you're recall it's called rewriting your script you're rewriting the, the script you came to play but oh man i gotta get back to work but hey i'm working on something that i want to work on so I'm investing my time, which is my soul energy into it. And that's something that I'm doing is for the betterment of humanity. And that's what I came for. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. A direct reflection of source. A direct reflection of source. And that's what you're remembering. You're remembering. You are remembering. You are putting this back together again. Remembering it. What is the it? Your soul. You're remembering it. You're putting it back together. Your soul. Yes, you are. Because you are remembering that you are a direct reflection, a direct image of source or the God, the guide. 
right? All right. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Be the change you want to see. Be the image you want to see in the mirror. Be it. Be it. Be the image. Be the change you want to see. Love you guys.